So definitely we are starting with the application of the device that we are going to learn throughout this course. If you do not know the application of device that you are learning, then it will not be creating the interest in you, right? If you know what is the application of the device, what is the importance of that particular device, then it makes sense and that will also create an interest, uh, you know, to learn that particular device. And hence, the application should be the first topic and not the last one. That is the reason why I have added the first lesson on applications of transformers right so let's see uh, what is the importance and some basic applications of transformer now we know that we generate electricity at much lower voltage let's say 11 kV and it also makes sense to generate uh, electricity at lower voltage why because let's say you want to generate higher voltage then you need a bigger machine right and a bigger machine means a very heavy capital investment. You need money for that. And again, that makes uh, that particular option not feasible. So just imagine you want to generate 800 kV. You can imagine, I mean, at least I cannot imagine the machine which can produce 800 kV. It is a, It will be a very huge machine and it will ask for a very huge cost as well. So definitely generating voltage at a higher voltage is not a good idea right so what do we do we generate voltage at 11 kV or lower voltage but this generated voltage we cannot transmit it to the end customer because generally the end customer is located far away from the generating station so to transmit this power to the end customer we need to transmit uh, this power to a very long distance and if we transmit this lower voltages, that is 11 kV, then definitely we will be occurring a lot of losses. Because the electricity not only transmit, uh, let's say for 10, 20 kilometers, but it transmits for 100, 200, thousands of kilometers. Again, it is loss of money. So definitely transmitting the power at lower voltage is not a good idea. Then what can be done? We cannot generate at higher voltage and we cannot transmit at lower voltage. So what we do? Well, we add a device in between which let's say uh, increase the voltage level from 11 kV to let's say 420 kV. Now this higher voltage we can transmit over a long distance without any issue because we will be incurring less losses because when we increase the voltage the current drops and hence the losses decreases so we transmitted that higher voltage now we have reached near to the end customer and the question is can we give directly this 420 kV to end customer the answer is no at least I do not know a device in my house which can support 420 kV um, and I'm also pretty sure that you will also not have that device which can support 420 kV in your house right so 420 kV will not work for the end customer. We again need to step down this voltage so that the end customer can use it. Right? So again what we do, we add a device which steps down this 420 kV voltage level to a usable voltage level and then we can give it to let's say different houses, factories, any commercial building. So you see, if we do not have this device here, these two device here, then imagining the power transfer from the generating station to end customer is really, really difficult. At least I cannot imagine the power transfer, power transfer without these devices. And this device is what we call as transformer. And you see the importance of the transformer. Without transformer, even our power system would not be possible. And hence, if you are an electrical engineer, you must know about the transformer in detail. That's not an option, but it's a mandatory thing. If you, are an, if you call yourself an electrical engineer, you must know about the transformer. Right? Now let's, let me list down some of the applications here. So as we have seen, the transformer helps us in stepping up the voltages. And similarly, it also helps us in stepping down the voltages. And even if you see, we use this transformer daily in our life. You take example of a mobile charger. 
द मोबाइल चार्जर इज वन टाइप ऑफ ट्रांसफॉर्मर ओनली द ओनली डिफरेंस इज इट कैन ऑल्सो कन्वर्ट्स ए सी इन टू डी सी बट इनिशियली इट स्टेप्स डाउन द टू थर्टी वोल्ड्स टू लेट से टेन वोल्ड्स फाइव वोल्ड्स और मे बी फिफ्टीन वोल्ड्स एंड देन इट इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू डी सी बट द इनिशियल यूज इज टू स्टेप इट डाउन दैट इज द ट्रांसफॉर्मर देन अगेन इट कैन आइसोलेट द सर्किट इलेक्ट्रिकली यू सी ट्रांसफॉर्मर हैज टू वाइंडिंग्स वन इज प्राइमरी वाइंडिंग टू विच वी गिव द सप्लाई एंड सेकेंड इज द सेकेंडरी वाइंडिंग थ्रू विच वी टेक द आउटपुट नाउ बिटवीन दीज टू वाइंडिंग्स देर इज नो फिजिकल कनेक्शन बट स्टिल द वोल्टेज वी कैन गेट आउटपुट एट सेकेंडरी नाउ हाउ इज दैट पॉसिबल दैट यू विल लर्न थ्रू आउट द कोर्स सो इट कैन आइसोलेट द सर्किट इलेक्ट्रिकली and then again one more important application is the transformer can transform the impedances as well it can transform transform not only impedances but also resistor and also capacitor again how is that possible how transformer can do that that i have explained everything in this particular course that you will learn once you start with the course and now i hope you would have got a basic idea about the application of transformer and how important it is as i said i cannot imagine our power system without the invention of transformer transformer is the most usable electrical machine that we have and because of that only the long distance transmission of electrical power is possible so you are not just learning any other device you are learning a very important device in electrical engineering and definitely it will be beneficial for your career right so with that note we start with our course in and i'm pretty sure you are going to enjoy it a lot so all the best for that